Today's challenge... <laughs> a dog really not a fan of his new housemates. He will growl, he'll snarl. It is a, a whole round nasty experience. And when the muzzle comes off, things really get weird. Noah will just start licking. He has licked so much that he's made himself sick. In Essex, Carrie and Mel set up home together just over a year ago with their blended family of terriers. <laughs> Noah, Mojo and Monty. We kind of had to adopt each other's little babies, didn't we? We did, we did. And all their joys. Yep. <laughs> and all their <laughs> non-joys. Non-joys. <laughs> the problem is Noah, Carrie's 11-year-old West Highland Terrier. Good lad, well done. While he looks like an angel, he's taken a massive dislike to Mel and her dog, Monty. <laughs> it's shocking when it happens because he's such a, a nice little dog. He will bare teeth, he'll growl, he'll snarl. Monty knows that Noah's gone for him before, so he, he tends to keep his distance. It's stressful. Monty's so good, bless him, and Noah's a thug. <laughs> the only thing that stops Noah in his tracks, this little accessory. He's unpredictable in terms of when he will react. Yeah. Is it treats? Is it bones? So you can't trust him. The muzzle is the only way which brings his anxiety down, and that brings my anxiety down. But then there's Noah's odd reaction whenever Mel's nearby. Compulsive licking, which can last up to two hours. When I come back in from work, Noah will just start licking. Licking the carpet, licking the bed, the kitchen floor. licking the floors. But he has licked so much that he's made himself sick. Noah, stop licking. Making things even stickier, Carrie and Mel have very different approaches to handling Noah. Boy. Oh, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. I like to have boundaries. I'm a bit of a stickler for the rules, and I really, very much you know, so. Carrie isn't like that. She's very passive. So much so, Carrie's not really that big on actual training. Which turns taking Noah and Mojo for a walk into a comedy of errors. He will wrap himself around my legs, pull the lead tight, and he will just put a stance on that he's just not going to move. It can be dangerous. Making life for this blended family stressful, to say the least. Certainly a strain on a relationship that we could do without. It adds pressure there be between the two of us. I hope that Victoria can bring some peace and some confidence to Noah and to all of us. Noah is a West Highland Terrier, or a Westie, as this breed is sometimes known as. And although Westies are endearingly cute, because they're part of the Terrier family, they tend to be feisty, they can be challenging to train, and I hear that Noah fits that bill perfectly. Hello. Hello, Hi. Victoria. Hi. Hi. <laughs> so don't be fooled by appearances. This is the calm before the storm. So this blended family of dogs, yeah. what concerns you most? Noah is extremely anxious. He's uh, food aggressive and can be aggressive to other dogs as well. You can watch him change. His eyes go wide, mm. his ears go back, his tail goes up. Yeah. And yeah, it's a bit unnerving, really. Wow, OK. Yeah. I also saw him licking your foot. He's a very licky dog. Oh, he was yeah. going for half an hour. What? 40 odd minutes of licking the carpet yeah. the other day. He gets more and more frantic, doesn't yeah. he, with it? Just and he becomes very, very panty and, you know. We have work to do. <laughs> Originally bred to hunt foxes, moles and vermin, there are more than 30 breeds of terrier. But Westies in particular are said to be a big dog in a little dog's body. With a maximum height of 28 centimetres and a weight of up to 22 pounds, 
They can be protective over their resources, things like food or toys. Which might explain Noah's aggressive behaviour towards Monty. Oh, oh, he really will go. Oh, Monty's got his tail between his legs. Mm -hmm. yeah. But over a resource like this, a bone? Ooh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Monty wasn't even with the bone. I no. think he just no. looked at it. This is dangerous behaviour. No wonder you split them up when they're eating. But even though Noah's the culprit, it's Monty who's banished to the hallway. Monty. He's something. Come on, dude. We have to put his food down for him, come in, shut the kitchen door, and then put their food down for them. I have to stand and be ready. Just yeah. In case. Yeah. And then there's his typical reaction to seeing Mel. He's starting to lick. Interesting. This was the time He's... when he was, what, half an hour, 40 odd minutes after I come in. 30, 40 minutes, and yeah. he continued licking. Yeah. And we had to tell him to stop in the end because he can make himself sick. And then continually stop until actually he did. OK. That's good to know. <laughs> Noah also has no idea how to walk on the lead, often hazardous to Carrie's health. So just stop there a second. I now see that Noah has awkwardly wrapped you up. Yeah. Don't move. <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you ever tripped over him? Yes. <laughs> Noah's always been like this. He's always done this. So that he's just a little bit clueless about how to walk on a lead? Yeah. I've physically fallen onto the floor in front of a lot of people, so I think my pride was hurt more than anything else. I am actually really concerned that you're going to hurt yourself. Yeah. So this is something that we have to address. Mm, yes. With Noah's issues affecting the entire family, the challenge now is getting Carrie and Mel to agree on how to co-parent. What's been really interesting to observe is how you are both not on the same page. Yeah, we like chalk and cheese. <laughs> yeah. Don't we really? Yeah, absolutely. I'm probably too laid back. They can do whatever they want. They can relax, whereas you're very different. Yeah, I, th I think I'm a little bit harder on them. When you guys got together and you had a different way of doing things, I'm not saying your way of doing things is wrong. Mm. No, it just wasn't used to it. Mm. Yeah. So we need to find that happy medium, mm. understanding their nature mm. and giving them the right kind of nurture. Mm. There's a few issues we need to address. First of all is resource guarding, the food. That is serious. Now, the winding when you walk. You haven't just got one dog, you've got two dogs. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, they haven't really been taught how to walk. No. So they don't really know where to go. Mm -hmm. Then there's the licking. Mm -hmm. When does it occur? At times when Noah doesn't feel mm -hmm. that certain. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, I cannot wait to get my hands on this. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Ready, absolutely. OK. The first step is tackling Noah's resource guarding. <laughs> a problem easily solved by not leaving toys or bones lying around. Though in emergencies only, there's always the turn away cue. I just want him to think about how he's going to get this piece of food out of my hand. Mm -hmm. And the only way he's going to do it is if he turns his head away from it. Yeah. Yes. Then I begin to mm -hmm. add the words to the action. Turn away, yes. Turn away, yes. Mm. Turn away, yes. Mm. That's what I wanted. Now he's doing so well, I'm going to make it harder for him. Carrie, has he ever left food on the ground? Never. OK, here we go then. Turn away. This is a tough one. We're undoing 11 years of habit. <laughs> mm. Turn away. Yes. That was definite. Mm. That was That's what I want. I did think that Noah wasn't going to have any part of it. And then all of a sudden it just clicked. And he was doing it and he was loving it. Turn away. Good. <laughs> he was just totally victorious. 
But now comes the real challenge. Can Carrie also undo 11 years of habit? Be a little bit more gentle as you pull the hand away. OK. So Mel and Carrie are working on being consistent, starting with his resource guarding. It's giving dogs an out. It's saying, all right, I got you back. I see this is a little sticky for both of you. Turn away. Was that a... Yeah, yeah, yeah it was good. Yes. He did. Don't worry, okay, don't worry. Sorry. The beautiful thing about positive training is that if you mess up, it's not going to hurt the dog. OK. Good. Well done. Good. Very nice good. timing. Because I can see, because he's looking at the hand and then he is turning away. Good. Good. Nice. When it was then down to me, I was <laughs> very nervous. Next time he does it, say the turn away cue. OK. Turn away. Good. Your turn away, which is lovely, it's soft, was but could you say it a little bit quicker? It was just phenomenal. It felt amazing to do it and have him respond to me. Turn away. Good. That was really good. You're better than you think you are. <laughs> With Carrie and Noah seeing the benefits of training, the next stumbling block is the tangle they get into with Mojo every time the three of them go for a walk. The first thing is the equipment you're using. Extendable leads can contribute to dogs walking badly. Okay. That's why I've got two regular short leads. The second thing is your dogs are crisscrossing. They really don't know where they're going because they haven't been taught. So the solution is to walk them either on one side or the other side. We just use our body language and our voices. Though once again, there are 11 years of bad habits to break. I'm going very, very slowly. I'm giving him a chance to observe his environment and I want to wait for him to come up kind of parallel with me. And when he does that, he might get something good. And he does like going behind. This is all about patience. Getting them to think about it, rather than me just always commanding them all the time. Very good, that's better. Very good, better, better. Well done. Before long, Noah's learned a new skill. Good boy. And it's Carrie's turn to take the reins. Good boy. I don't want you to pressurise him. If he does cross, just you cross back. Good boy. Ah, crosses behind. That's it. Step back. Good. Okay, Let's go. continue. So now you can quicken the pace a bit, OK? Let's go. Nice. Good boy. Let's go. Carrie's off to a great start. But for her next trick, she needs to walk both Noah and Mojo. Let's go. Let's go. Come. Good boys. That's it. Good boys. Let's go. <laughs> Move them over. So uh, the reason why you almost tripped up was because the leads are too long. OK. OK. Try it again. OK. Boys, let's go. Let's go. It's like a dance. To begin with, you're not going to know the steps. They're not going to know the steps, but after, when you practice carry, then do not give up. The dance is, you're suddenly going to be able to dance with them. Let's Good. go. Well done. Good boys. Come on then. Good boys. Good boys. Soon you are going to be walking like a princess down <laughs> the road. I don't know which is scarier, me walking like a princess or then walking properly. <laughs> Keep going. Good boy. Look at that. Good boy. This is beautiful walking. Good boys. <laughs> Good lads. Look at that. Good lads. Let's go. You're already Let's a princess. <laughs> <laughs> the final hurdle is Noah's anxiety around Mel, which triggers his compulsive licking. Though, once again, it's all about two very different styles of parenting. Maybe it was because 
he's been used to a more lovey-dovey manner from Carrie and then you come into the relationship and you're much more direct. And there's no harm in that as long as you're not scarily direct. <laughs> because I don't think he trusts you very much. Yep. And we need to build that. that trust. Yes. Creating a stronger bond with your pooch means clear communication and consistency. But more importantly, it requires time. Time for exercise, play and learning new skills. As positive teaching can make the world of difference. Which is exactly how Victoria plans to build trust between Noah and Mel. Putting an end to all that licking. First, Mel needs to learn a simple cue to get Noah's attention and stop this behaviour. The way we do it is we throw food away. Okay. And Noah goes to get the food. As he turns around, you say, Noah, come. As he does that, you give him a treat and touch the collar. Okay. Okay. Come. Nice. Good. Good boy. Very nice. <laughs> Don't stroke him, just touch just the touch collar. collar. Come. Now, Mel, that was great. Bit serious. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Come. Nice. The relationship that I have with Noah is not what I want. Come. Lovely. <laughs> I love that, Mel. Your voice is nice and light. And very soon he's going to be like, I'll come back to her when she calls me. I want something which is a bit more kind and caring, <laughs> rather than mean, which is, it wasn't my intention, babe. Can I be next on the list? <laughs> <laughs> What's going to happen when you come through the door? Maybe less licking? Yeah. Noah's going to trust you more. Yeah, which would be awesome. Yeah. With Noah's two mums now on the same page, life in this house should be much easier. So, Carrie. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to be consistent mm -hmm. and carry on with the training, which historically you haven't been so good at? I am. Mel. Yes. I think it might be hard for you not to interfere too much and not to be too direct, <laughs> but are you going to try? Oh, I, I will step back. OK. I promise. OK. No, I would. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, keep working at it. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much cool. for everything. Yeah, thank, thank you. Because I'll be checking up on you. <laughs> <laughs> No, come. Come. Good, come. Over the next few weeks, the girls get stuck into training. <gasps> so while Mel used to be too strict and Carrie too casual... Turn away. Good boy. Now, the entire family is much happier. Oh. And the daily walk is incident-free. Good boys, well done. Just as well, because guess who's back? Paying Carrie a visit while Mel's at work. Hello! Come in! Thank you. Really nice to see you. How's it been going? It's been going really well. What we've learned is invaluable because we can see it working. How's the licking? I gave Mel some homework, so how does she get on? She's done really well. He's actually coming up to her for fuss. <gasps> She's chuffed to bits, yeah. I love the fact that she's bonding with him, but has it helped with the licking? It's helped in the sense of we can get his attention quicker. Okay. It hasn't stopped the licking yet, no. but it's still quite early days, so I've no doubt it's going to work. It's made a big difference for you, hasn't it, Noah? <laughs> I know it has. You tell her well done for I me. will. We needed an intervention and you saved us. <laughs> oh, did I? You did, thank you. <laughs> I'm so pleased to hear how well the dogs are doing. And because of that, Carrie and Mel's relationship has been strengthened. They still have a long way to go, but if anybody can do it, Carrie and Mel can. Thanks for watching. If you love It's Me or the Dog and want more dog training tips and tricks, visit my official site, Positively.com. And if you're interested in learning more about becoming a dog trainer, check out the Victoria Stillwell Academy. Links to both sites are in the description. I'll see you online.